Is Santa is in danger? We've just... Uh, yes, I know, we're talking about Christmas. It, well, it's only 12 weeks, you know. Um, it's a very expensive time of year, though. Uh, and it's not expensive just for you and me. It's expensive for local authorities as well. Um, the people in Harlow are being asked to fund the area's Christmas lights and decorations, but in a very, very different way. Uh, it's part of a crowdfunding idea to try and take the strain off the councils, um, because obviously we all know the councils have had their budgets cut. Uh, well, uh, Councillor Tony Durkin is from Harlow Council. Tony, good to see you. Good morning. Um, and Andrew Teacher is from the crowdfunding website Space Hive, which is uh, helping raise the money. Andrew, morning to you. Good morning. So, Tony, tell me about this idea that, um, uh, you know, that we've got to save Santa in Harlow. Take me, take me through it. Uh, yeah, the, the, the simple philosophy of this is that we've always, for the last 30 years, always had a celebration around the Christmas time with the Christmas tree, Christmas lights, um, uh, singers and stuff like that. That's usually been directly funded by the council or by some of the big businesses. Unfortunately, because of the financial uh, decline that we're actually in, we've had to look at new opportunities. Well, the businesses can't match. No, and they're basically uh, saying that they're doing their own thing. We need to be looking at a new way of doing it because actually the businesses that fund in it, both at the Water Gardens and the Harvey Centre, actually don't aren't, aren't based where these lights are. So I can well understand why they're doing this. So uh, we're looking at new ways, and it was brilliant that our small team of, in the regeneration came across Andrew and his team over this thing, which seems so novel and new. And Harlow is always trying to look at opportunities. So, all right. So Tony, how much does it cost you to put the Christmas lights up in these two centres? How much does it cost the council each year? Well, um, with the the support of the businesses in total for putting the tree up. Taking it down, etc. Like it's about twelve thousand pounds. About twelve thousand per year for for both places. Uh, yeah, it's, yeah, it's all connected. Yeah, yeah. Um, and Andrew, how do you help? Well, Space is basically a website where people, anyone with a great idea, can put that idea online onto spacehive.com, uh, share it with their friends, and they then pledge money to support the project. Uh, and, and if it uh, if it's popular, it goes ahead. If it's not popular, then nobody gets charged. It's just like buying a book on, on a major website where, again, you put your credit card details in, and if that book isn't in stock, you don't get charged. And, and if it is, then, then you do. And the brilliant thing about this is not simply the fact that it raises money and brings the private sector, the public sector, small businesses and citizens together. It's, it's that it, people engage with each other on it. And that, that's the crucial thing here. What, what we've seen since Space Hive was launched two years ago is that so many different great ideas have, have come forward. We've had, you know, in Bristol, they did a, a 95 metre water slide through the town centre. It was a, a, an art installation, but it's just fun and brilliant. And in, in Mansfield, they, they funded pre Wi Fi. And, and I think that the stuff that's, that's looking to, to hopefully happen in Harlem. So, again, people across the country are seeing not just simply that their budgets are cut, but that there is a growing appetite among local people to use the internet, to come together and engage and, and almost build the sort of cohesion that many, many people, I think, agree that we've lost over the years. So what stage are we at at the moment, Andrew, with this scheme to, to get people to fund the Harlow Lights? Well, the, the, the project is now up, and, and they can go to spacehive.com slash light up Harlow Town Centre. That's spacehive.com slash light up Harlow Town Centre. And all we want people to do is just to give a few quid, a few quid, five, five quid. Uh, 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 you know, getting involved, we, we should get Robert, you should get, get Robert Hawthorne on the phone, the, the, your local MP, who's always <laughs> banging on about cheaper fuel. You know, you, you can put in a, a fiver. Uh, uh, you know, just get people to chip in a bit of cash. And, and clearly, if, if, if the, 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 the partnership have got any cash left, but perhaps Harlow Town Centre Partnership who are leading this, then they, they can invest in other things. And I think this is such a fantastic way of just encouraging anyone with a fantastic idea to bring it forward. And, and whether that's a water slide, Christmas lights, a community centre, or, or any other mechanism to, hmm. to engage in, and, and enliven an area. And I think, you know, we are at a situation where the internet has, has taken hold and, and there is a struggle, you know, to keep people engaged yeah. with their talent. All right. Um, but, so but, let, let's, let's talk about the actual money itself, because uh, Councillor Tony Durkin, the, um, the money's going to be matched, isn't it? Is, how will that work? Yeah. 
uh, under the arrangement that Andrew's been explaining is that we've been made to uh, get a, an application uh, which is basically we'll get match funding up to the, the uh, maximum of £5,000. So for every pound up to 5000 we will get £2 back. And this Who's will from? Be, uh, Expedium, which is uh, an, an organisation that Andrew's um, website works closely with and they are fronting this Save Santa um, uh, process. Why are they doing that, Andrew? Why are they funding this? Well, Experian, a very big, massive research company, so you know, you're the people that you would use to, to get your credit checks from. Um, yeah. I, mean, it, I, mean, what, I mean, Experian are one of a number of companies that, that, that see benefit in this, you know, the same as, as companies see benefit through any kind of... What's PR, corporate. is it? Well, it's, yeah, it's PR, yeah. it's corporate social responsibility, but it, you know, it's being involved in, in, a, in a mechanism which, which is a bit, more, a bit more valuable than just pumping a, an advert onto a bus shelter. You know, it, it's giving money that has a lasting... Impact Got to ask. A number of companies yeah. are, are seeing value in, in being yeah. part of that. Uh, C Councillor Tony Durkin once again, because you see, m maybe people in, in Harlow will say, well, hang on a minute, for years uh, that's come out of my council mm -hmm. tax. Um, aren't I still paying the same council tax? So why, why nowadays do I have to pay a little bit more by going to this website? Well, it, it, they're not having to pay anything more. It's about a choice. And well, they're already paying their council tax. Yeah, but it's, it's not just local people. It's local businesses, local associations. As Andrew was saying, we've got an MP, we've got Stansted up the road. We've got lots of other organisations that mm. invest in Harlow Town Centre and use the town centre and want to revamp it. So it's not just about local people. It's anybody who's particularly interested uh, in that. You're absolutely right. It used to be funded by the council. Unfortunately, because of the financial depression, councils are having to make choices and difficult decisions, and unfortunately, that's one of them. But why, why should councils... Hang on a minute, hang on a minute. Why, hang, on, hang on, Andrew. Um, why should councils pay for Christmas lights anyway. What does it bring to a town that is relevant to the council? Well, it's about, I think we need to ask that. Okay, well it's about community, it's about culture, it's about diversity, it's about bringing the team, uh, the, the town together okay, they may well use the resources hopefully they will use the shops and stuff but actually it's a community focus it's a place where parents and children, elderly people can come together and to celebrate being together and that's what Harlow is all about. Andrew, sorry, carry on. I, I was just going to say, sorry to interrupt it, 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 it's a mindset thing, I think, as much as anything. And, and you're right to, to raise that, that question. It's the first question that everyone asks. And, 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 but, you know, it's a, it's a mindset that, that says, you know, do I expect this to be done by someone else or, or do, I, do I have a go myself? And, and I think, you know, England as a country, relatively speaking, is pretty low tax compared to places like Scandinavia that, that pay a lot more tax. And, and, and the reality of it is, uh, is, is that, you know, going forward, councils and the public that aren't going to be able to fund a lot of the things that, that previously we took for granted. And I think you know, we aren't quite as, as, as progressive as places like San Francisco that have taken on the Speyside model much further than, than we have here. Uh, and I think people are still a little bit uh, hesitant. But, but what we're really seeing is that projects like this, which do have a very clear tangible benefit in, in, in driving footfall to the local town centres and engaging businesses with the council, with the local uh, public, are, are, are fantastic ways of getting over that hurdle. And I think, you know, other people in Harlow, other businesses have got great ideas they want to share, and they should really use the, the, the platform, Speyside, to, to do that. But I think, you know, if, if everyone listening could even just chip in two quid to, to spacehive.com, light up Harlow Town Centre, then very quickly you'll have a fantastic festive display I think will benefit everybody. Tony, just say that address is also on the Harlow District Council website and thank you very much for Andrew for the idea and the opportunity and we hope it's successful. So when, how will we know, uh, Tony, give me the time scale, how will we know whether this is going to work? I'll, I'll call you and I'll invite you and we can we can plug the lights in together if that's what you frankly want. it just makes us all feel a bit better. Let's do at it. At that time of Let's year. Let's do it. Andrew Teacher, thank you very much indeed, uh, who's joining me on the phone there from the crowdfunding uh, website Space Hive. It's, well, have a look, you know, why not? Have a look, nothing to lose. Uh, me in the studio from Harlow Council. Thanks very much indeed. Uh, and I'd like to know now, uh, would you pay like this for your own local Christmas lights and decorations? Would you do this? Would you think to yourself, do you know, I wish Chelmsford would do it this way, or I wish Southend would do it this way, or I wish Har um, Harlow is Braintree or Whitford or, or wherever you live, would you be prepared to stick five quid in the pot on one of these websites to make sure that your Christmas lights actually happened. 
01245 49 50 50. Uh, if you'd like to text me, it's 81333 and start your text with the word Essex.